Locals are not the only one complaining about the traffic smells within the city area that is getting from bad to worse. Now, even foreign visitors are left frustrated due to the bad congestion. They said this has been the case for the past few months and has worsened following the holiday season. Singaporean businessman Edward Tan, 56, said he was stuck on the road for many hours after leaving a mall at Jalan Wong or Fook here recently. Since the reopening of the border in April last year, I have only been to Johor about five times. I can see a significant difference in the traffic condition now compared to about a year ago. It is also not easy to get a parking spot in town. The situation is very bad during the holiday season, he said, adding that the ongoing construction works have also contributed to this. On congestion at the border, Tan said, while there have been some improvements, more should have been done to make things better. In a recent visit a few days before Christmas, I noticed that there were still counters that were closed. This should not have happened as I am sure the authorities would have anticipated a high volume of people coming in from Singapore. He said. Another Singaporean Zahida Zalkifli, 30, who was visiting Johor with her friend over the weekend, said, while the traffic condition in town has worsened, it did not deter her from enjoying her time in Johor Bahru. It did not affect me that much as I do not drive. All the places I needed to go were within walking distance, making it easier to enjoy my time here. The only concern has always been the traffic at the causeway. But thankfully, I had a smooth bus ride that was less than 30 minutes, said the saleswoman. Filipino Puitano Tri Villamor Sambalan, 31, said while he did not face any congestion at the causeway during his recent trip. The traffic condition around Johor Bahru has worsened. I came to Johor for an early New Year's holiday and to visit my friend. I anticipated heavy traffic due to the long weekend and decided to make my way here on Friday morning. I was lucky as there was no congestion at the border. Instead, I was greeted with traffic jam upon arrival in Johor Bahru, he said, adding that he has been working in Singapore for over a decade. The assistant supervisor said it has also been increasingly difficult for him to get e-healing services in Johor Bahru, especially during peak hours. I use public transport to get to Johor. Once I am here, I will either walk or use e-healing services. However, I notice that it has been very difficult to get any drivers these days. I believe the traffic congestion in town may have caused e-healing drivers to have to spend more time to complete a single trip. He said. Johor Tourist Guides Association Chairman Jimmy Leong said the congestion in Johor Bahru Town was expected to go back to normal once all the construction works in the area have been completed. The main concern is still traffic congestion at the border. The year-end traffic congestion at the Causeway and Second Link has improved this year compared to last year, but it is still far from the standard we should strive for. We should have seen better results by now as Mantri Bisadata on Hafiz Ghazi has been pushing for improvements. We were also told that Johor will be getting more immigration officers in the middle of this month. He said, adding that he has also received complaints from travellers of counters that were closed in the recent holiday period. On December 21, State Works, Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, Chairman Mohammed Fesli Mohammed Salah, said all contra lanes at the two land customs. Immigration and quarantine checkpoints in Johor will be activated in anticipation of a high volume of vehicles from Singapore during the Christmas and New Year celebrations.